Somebody tampered on my laptop last night, and they wiped all the files. I see my business now. I'm going to handle our tool. I'm going to board. I'm coming after everything that you love. No! Stay here for me while I take mommy into my car. I I will give you the whole of Utu. I will sign it off to you. Okay. Explosive, explosive. Listen, things are definitely heating up on Scandal. And our next guest is part of the reason why. She plays Umbali in The Soapy and she joins us this morning. Sis Nolazi, thank you so much for your time. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much. And, Good morning. I, and I'm, I know you definitely took time out of your busy schedule to be here. Thank you very much for having me. I appreciate it. <laughs> Listen, Uzbugele La Piana, now I'm a snippet. Do you ever go home and, 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 and watch yourself so that you can, you, you know, critique yourself? Yeah, D I, I definitely do that. Um, I never like watching myself in front of other people or like in the presence uh -huh. of other people. Like that's just strange. Yeah. Um, because also the reason I'm watching is possibly different to why everyone else is watching. Okay. For me, I want to know what choices that I made. Are they translating on screen? Does it make sense? What can I improve on? Because like it's it's a constant game of that, right? You yeah. can't just like rest on your yeah. laurels and say, oh, you know, I've been been here, you know, I'm, I, I've got the role, you know what I mean? So like I don't have to yeah. work hard anymore. So you're always just working to refine yourself. You're talking about something that is so important: the choices that you've made for the character or about the character. You want to see if those are coming out, yeah. right? Let's speak about your character, o o Umbali. When you first encountered the the character, you got your character brief. What are those choices that you made about this uh, particular character, Noguti? This is what I want to bring to life. Um, I think Umbali's changed a lot over the past um, over the past year. Yeah. Um, it, it doesn't feel that long. Like I didn't realize that you know it's been it's been, it's been a year. Um, so first of all, Bali is ambitious, but more for some other people, more for her husband. She wants to reap the rewards of everyone else's ambition, but now. What's gotten more and more is her, the decisions that she makes in order to get there, right? And this is a woman that will stop at nothing. nothing. Um, it's even like I laugh sometimes, like I'll be reading lines or we'll be running lines right before we shoot. Yeah. And I will laugh my head off. I'm like, what is this girl doing? Like, what is she even saying? Like, who does these things? Right. So it's just, it's very interesting playing someone like that. You know what I mean? Like. You want to buy the desperation. You know, she is a desperate woman, you know, really, and mm, that's, mm. I think, a human element that when we want something, we'll stop at nothing mm -hmm. to get yeah. it. The yeah. question is, how far are you willing to go? And sometimes she's, like, bordering on a tad and... So mm. And, I mean, you've played so many characters and, and you, you bring them and embody them and bring them to life so well, right? When you're looking at the character of um, Umbali now, what would you say is different about Umbali from the other characters that you've played and, and probably something that you found challenging about this particular character? Because from what you're saying, like Mawati Manja, you, you read your script and you, you laugh at some of the things that the character is going to do. It sounds like it's, it, it would be a character that's very different from who Unolazi is. Yeah. So what were those challenges or what are the challenges about this character? What are the challenges? I mean, like, <laughs> I mean, first of all, I think it's like the lies, the amount of lies that she that she has to tell. Um, you, you tell one lie, you pretty much have to tell, you know, a million yeah. after that yeah. in order to try and yeah. make up for the one. Yeah. Um, you're always trying to remember what you said. Um, and that's like something that's not as easy to do, you know what I mean? Because it's just like, also the anxiety. 
that goes with the lie, constantly being scared, like that undertone of, like, that murmur of, of anxiety, um, wondering, you know, when will I get caught? Will I get caught? Can I keep up with this? If I'm lying, can people actually pick up the fact that I'm lying? You know, you know what I mean? What, what do I'm, I like when I'm normal? Okay, let me try and act normal so that, you know what I mean, they'll buy what I'm Aww. saying. So it's just like there's a lot that goes into into playing her yeah um but it's also just interesting right because you also never want to play something that's too close to yourself otherwise it just gets boring it's like well, yeah. why, 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 yeah. we, why am i in bali's body why, <laughs> why am i in am bali's I still, world yes. you know what i mean if i'm just gonna play myself yeah but, but from what you're saying is it then ever difficult or is it always just a, a, a an easy thing to get into a a, a a new role because you've played so many different characters right and do you ever get a character and you're like, ooh, now there's there's so much pressure because I really did well in the previous character that I played that a lot of people know me for, and now I must go into this new character. How do you prepare yourself for that? I get nervous every you do? single time. Wow. There is not a point where I feel comfortable. I'm constantly questioning where is she coming from? Why is she saying this? Mm. Um, for, so for me, my process is understanding the character, understanding the story, knowing how everyone else fits into the story mm. as well. But I never walk away from a scene. I'm like, yeah, 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 I killed that. That was great. Mm. Not at all. Like I always walk away and I'm like, oh, I could have done this. 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 So it never, it never gets old. It never gets too comfortable. I think. The comfortability aspect comes from understanding the technical part that goes into shooting. That okay, I'm comfortable with like knowing and understanding my angles, also the story that I'm telling. But as a performer myself, there is never a moment where I love I'm it. like I'm just chilled. Ah, uh, it's not at all. No, Lazi, thank you so much for your time. Thank really you. Do appreciate thank you. It. Thank you Listen, so much. Things are definitely heating up. I know No Lazi next week is getting some kind of a warning. The lies are just getting more, and there are decisions that need to be made. So you want to watch. Scandal. You definitely want to do that at 7.30 right here on ETV. For now, though, we take a short ad break. Do stay with us.